Hello, hello, welcome to a new video. I know what you're thinking, Grace, why are you outside? Basically, I'm editing this video in the library and it turns out my intro got corrupt and obviously a library is silent, so you mustn't, you mustn't at all make any noise. So I've come outside to film a little intro, so hello. I hope you're doing well, how are you? How are you? All the silent watchers, what are you up to? Um, but today's video, so I went onto this article that I found on Buzzfeed where it's the most popular recipes and I wanted to try them to see if they're worth it or not. So enjoy the video of me testing out lots of different recipes um, from Buzzfeed to see if they're worth it or not. Um, I love you all loads. I really hope you have a great week. It's a Monday. Sometimes Mondays can be grim. Um, so you have a great flipping week, right? I'm sending you all the good vibes. Up first we are doing the, oh, crackle in my voice. We're doing salad um, and I actually really like chopping up things small and it says you need to dice everything really small. So I'm gonna be here chopping for a little while. Um, but this is like one of the highly rated recipes. But I don't get it because it doesn't seem that wild and exciting. So we'll see once I've chopped everything up um, if it's actually as good as they say. But I just don't know how it can be that exciting, but we'll see. I will say I actually went for these tomatoes because I prefer plum tomatoes so much to the little cherry tomatoes. I don't know why. They just taste better when they're oblong. All of that chopping took about 10 minutes. That was a lot of chip chop chapping. Um, and now we need to add our like dressing section, which is just very simple. Lemon juice, salt, pepper, olive oil. That's all we need, baby. At the moment, this is before mixing. It kind of looks like a cross between guacamole and salsa. So I'm gonna give it a little toss up. Right, there is the salad. Very, very green. Uh, now, if you've followed me on TikTok, you will have seen that I made the green goddess salad and really like that, actually. My family quite liked it too. Um, so I wonder how this will fare up, because this is very, very green. I'm just gonna take a big old spoonful. Mm, I forgot the coriander. Mm. Right, here we have the new salad. Give it a mix with the coriander. Right, now I've added the coriander, I'm gonna do a new taste test. Mm. Definitely got some crunch. It's quite nice as salads go, but it's not like knock my socks off and call me Bob kind of good. Do you know what I mean? It's definitely got, um, it's quite nice. I feel like it would be nice with some chicken or some salmon as a side, but I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know if this is supposed to be the main event and like we're supposed to just have this or, Sometimes it is a bit guacamole vibes. You could sink a tortilla in and it would be nice with it. So, it's all right. Okay, for the next recipe, we're gonna be making something that sounds very interesting. We're gonna be making grilled potato volcanoes. How fun does that sound? Get a load of that. So, the potatoes are in the oven. They have to be in the oven for 20 minutes um, and then we take them out. But whilst we do that, we prep the, I guess this is the filling, grated cheddar, cream cheese, and green onions. So I'm just gonna get that prepped in a bowl and mix that together. Um, and that is our filling. So it's pretty simple. Okay, I have taken my potatoes out um, and they're just chilling there um, because we have to wait until they're cool enough to handle. And then we assemble our little volcanoes. So they're gushing with their molten lava cheese. Molten cheese lava whatever it's called, I don't know. Actually, whilst they're cooling, should we get on with our second recipe? I feel like, probably should, probably. Whilst the potatoes are cooling, we're gonna make the next recipe, which is a cinnamon roll apple pie bake. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. It's one of the most popular recipes, so we gotta give it a go. Although, this article was from, I think, like 2019. So since then, they may have changed. Although, do Tasty still post recipes? I feel like that was very 2016. I feel like they hit their heyday. Um, do they still post recipes? I don't know. Um, it's weird, they haven't told us to peel the apples. And normally, if you are doing a recipe like this, they normally ask you to peel the apples. Quite a cool memory of mine is peeling apples with my mum and then you get to like eat the skin from around it. That's a real cool memory from my childhood. Now we add our sugar and butter and we put it on the hob for 10 minutes. Doesn't feel right. The recipe says 220 grams of sugar. 
That is a lot of sugar, but I guess we put it in the hob to caramelize. Our potatoes are now cool enough to handle, so we take off the, a bit of the bottom so they can stand up like little volcanoes. And then we also want to take off a bit on the top. I actually used to hate jacket potatoes. They used to make me gag. Um, it's the one food that I couldn't get behind, but now I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Now we take our dear friend the melon baller. Now it says to melon ball out the middle, which is actually a very fun job. I don't know if you've ever had to melon ball a potato before, but that is very, very therapeutic. So what am I supposed to do with all this inside? of the potato. I don't want this to go to waste. No, are we supposed to add it to the cream cheese mixture? No, it literally says spoon it out. It smells like school dinner. Did you know, actually, in food commercials, they actually use like mashed potato as ice cream because it is easier to deal with and it doesn't melt like ice cream does. Grace's fun fact of the day. I have so many pointless facts in my head that benefit me in no way, shape or form. Yeah, actual knowledge that would be a benefit to me, I do not hold. And then we're going to fill them up with this lovely cheddar cream cheese bring on the mixture. So that just... Now, you know a recipe gets interesting when you have to crack out the toothpicks. So we need to get the toothpicks. This is like a flipping work of art. And we get our slices of bacon and we put two slices around each piece of potato and then we toothpick it in place. Boop. Like that, and then we're going to do the same on the other potato. These are actually really fun to make, I'm having quite a good time. It's quite therapeutic to make, I didn't think they would be. I thought they would be quite the opposite, but I'm quite enjoying it. Sprinkle with cheddar and put them back into the oven for another 20 minutes. Okay, into the oven they go. Right, back to the apple mixture. She is lovely and caramelised. Okay, whilst our little potatoes are in the oven, I'm going to carry on with our cinnamon apple situation. We take our cinnamon rolls and we cut each little one into nine pieces um, and line our tray with it. If also, there was exactly two cinnamon roll things left in Tesco, so I'm very happy. I feel like I can hear a chicken. None of our neighbours have chicken. So, what's going on there, hey? Who's got chickens and didn't tell me? Because I could really do with some fresh chicken eggs. I would love to have chickens. Uh, to be honest, I just love to have a little small holding. My dream life when I was younger was to be a farmer. So, yeah. Maybe one day I'll get a little farm. That would, I don't know, that would be such a fun vlog. Can you imagine? Like a vlog series where I buy a farm. <laughs> where I live on a farm and I learn how to be a farmer. I would love it. Remember those programs on BBC where it was like Victorians in the farm age or something? Victor no, Victorians, living like a Victorian, all those sorts of ones. And then they did Victorian Christmas and Victorians on a farm. I literally loved all of those. I just find different types of living so fascinating. Okay, here's our cinnamon rolls all cut up and then we pour on our egg cinnamon milk mixture. Egg cinnamon milk mixture is on and now we also go in with the apple cinnamon sugar mixture. And the next step is weird, you add the icing before it goes into the oven. So I'm going to drizzle on the icing on top of our apple cinnamon rolls. Drizzled on the icing but it's literally just sunk in. So now we bake it in the oven. So into the oven it goes. Okay, our volcano cheesy bacon potatoes are done so once they've cooled a little bit we'll try them two of the other most popular recipes one was like all about sliders and um, one was all about puff pastry so i picked one of the recipes that was on the puff pastry section so we're going to be making raspberry flowers we've got our puff pastry can we just have a shout out to puff pastry because it is such a genius invention it really is it just really takes the time off all recipes um, and this is vegan it's vegan. Vegan. For all you vegans out there. And dairy free peeps. It says cut it into nine. This is where my math logistics really struggles. Half. Nine. How does that easily go into nine? Three. Three threes, right? My brain can't work this one out. I can't fathom it. Cut the puff pastry into nine equal squares. Nine. All right, let's do this. I don't know if this is, this isn't going to be an equal square though. I'm just going to have to do six. They're just going to have to be chunky boys. I can't work it out. 
I can't physically make nine equal squares, all right? You take a little blob of Nutella and you just pop it in the middle. Although it's not much filling. I like a lot of filling. I don't want it to just be pastry, you know? I want the filling to do the talking. Like that almond croissant that I posted on my TikTok that everyone was up in arms about. I was supposed to cut first, making sure they don't touch in the center. I'll fold each corner to the center and press down so the pastry stick. Pinch the corners of inch each fold to create a petal. Right, I'm seeing the vision come to life. Cute little flower. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo, bop. I think six was the right call. I don't have a single regret about that decision. Right, we've done a little egg wash, and now for the middle of the flower, we just pop a little raspberry, and then hopefully as well, we'll squash it down so the petals don't fly up. They look very flipping cute. It looks so funny. I'm actually just gonna be a pro Oh my gosh, I nearly forgot to take the cocktail sticks out. That would have been awful. Um, I'm gonna be a proper savage, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bite in the potato. I don't think my mouth is big enough. Oh my god, that's actually really delicious. Can you see how like melty and creamy the middle's gone? With like the saltiness of the bacon and the mashed potato. That is really delicious. It's just a shame about the loss of the potato on the middle. I don't know what to do about that, but would recommend. Okay, our funny little cinnamon apple bake situation has just gone out of the oven i'm gonna let it like set i'm gonna leave it to cool a bit and then we'll try they look so cute so the apple bake was not so good it was a bit stodgy didn't have much flavor i really think that, that sugar i think the ratios are all out of whack um so that wasn't good and the puff pastries were just a bit it was just there wasn't enough filling they were pretty but i feel like they could definitely have different filling and that's the end of the video so annoyed that our, my footage got corrupt but hey ho we move and we groove um i hope you're well and let me know the videos you want to see love you bye